Hi, I'm Underbelly, and you suck at producing. Have you ever wondered what it'd be like to warp time so you could travel to a point in your life when you don't hate yourself? Well, I've wondered that, and today we're going to learn how inside of Ableton. Let's get started. Okay, so it turns out it's actually a lot harder to change the thing you most hate about yourself than it is to change the thing you most hate about your music. So the thing I most hate about my music is that it just goes on for way too long, okay? Nobody needs to hear the same beat for more than 30 seconds at a time ever. So let's just go inside my shit song folder. We'll drag in a song that I did with Ross, the dopest gringo alive, and let's just see if we can use Live's warping feature to make it go by a lot quicker. So let's just play the original. Okay, here it comes. Oh God. Hello. Goodbye. Jesus. Hello. Uh, hello. And so hello again. Okay, that was already just way too much. We could have gotten through that a lot faster. So let's just go ahead and use Live's warping algorithm to speed up the original BPM or beats per minute of the song, speed that up so that the track just goes by a lot faster and we can deal with a lot less of its shit. So uh, Live isn't perfect, okay? Just like any woman, Ableton makes mistakes sometimes and she's in need of a strong male figure to guide her in life. And the way that we can give Ableton the best guidance in guessing the original BPM of the song is by finding the first downbeat of the song, which is usually the first kick drum that comes in. Okay, so let's just go ahead and listen and, and, and see where we hear that first kick drum. Okay, here it comes. Fast forward. Hello. You don't need to deal with the shit. Hello. And so oh, again. okay, there it is. Okay, it's just that big bulge right there, that tumor right here inside of the waveform. So let's just go ahead and move our play marker to the beginning of that tumor and just nudge up right against it. Oh, nice and tight, nice and tight. And let's just make sure that our clip starts right off on the kick drum, the first downbeat. Just press play. What up? Ooh, okay, it's lined up perfectly. And now let's go ahead and right click on the play marker or control click if you're on a Mac and click warp from here straight. We don't want it crooked. Okay, and it looks like Live's guess for the original BPM of the track is 96 BPM. It's in this box right here. And we can verify if Live is correct in that guess by uh, turning on the metronome, which is these two little circles right here, just clicking that button so that it turns yellow and listening to the song and seeing if the metronome lines up with the beats in the song. So the metronome by itself is gonna sound like this. Uh-huh, pretty groovy. And let's just pay attention to the drums of the song and hear if the metronome lines up with them, okay? So just like, hear that. What up with you? How you living life then? Chilling out of place in a space, fitting right in. And that little domino is never knocked down. Uh, okay, wowzers in my trousers. So it looks like the metronome correctly lines up with the drums in the song. And we can double check that by just looking inside the waveform and seeing if the bulges, like in the kick drum right here, line up with these measure markers, these beat markers are on top. So this two right here, which signifies this beginning of the second measure, lines up with another bulge right here, this kick drum. And we can just make sure that, you know, if we go to way later in the song, this is the same case. In the 70, we have a bulge. In the 71, we have another bulge. Just bulges all around, okay? Just tumor fest. Okay, so that's real cool, but we still haven't solved the problem of speeding up the track. So originally we're at 96 BPM. Let's see what it sounds like when we try increasing the BPM by just dragging up on this box right here, clicking and dragging. So let's just turn off that pesky metronome and just click and drag up while the song is playing. What up with you? How you living life then? Get Filling out oh, a place in a space, oh, fitting right oh, in. Yeah, little time I know it's never not out. Even living in it when we get locked out. Just a fight yeah, for the shot to reach for the hot, free for hot. Come and get me.
Wow. Okay, so that was going a little bit too fast for me. I was starting to feel a little sick. Um, so let's just try and take a breather and slow that down a bit. Let's just get the BPM way low. Let's get it to like around, I don't know, let's say 37 and hear how that sounds. Okay, uh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so that sounds way slower. Um, but it's all jittery and uneven, and we want to make it nice and smooth, like a nice, completely smooth turd sliding out of Ableton into our eardrum. So let's just change the warping algorithm from beats to complex, and it's going to sound a lot smoother. Let's play it again. What else would you have living like then? Okay, and so you can hear Ableton smoothing out the edges of the turd, getting rid of the pesky tumors, and just making it a nice, long shit, just coming straight out. And so that's how we can warp things without having it sound too, you know, bumpy and jagged. All right, uh, that concludes warping. Let's just go back to my face. In conclusion, you can't really change the things about yourself you most hate, but what you can change through warping is your music. I'm Underbelly, signing off.